What's up, everybody? All right, guys, it is May 29th, um, 2021, and I'm heading over to a card show in Pompton Plains. Super excited. Uh, I'm going to be meeting up with Parlay J. Um, it is 45 degrees out, <laughs> and it's May 20. It's almost June, and it's 45 degrees out. You got to love New Jersey. Um, a couple days ago, it was 90, de 90 plus degrees. I was in my pool and today it's 45 degrees. So uh, amazing how much uh, the weather changes around here, but uh, obviously rain or shine, going to the card show. Um, I don't know what to expect. I have to admit that my expectations are uh, probably pretty low for the show. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be 10 tables or 100 tables, but we'll check it out and I'll bring you guys with me. Uh, so let's go check out the show. Now uh, listen to some uh, music. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Thanks, man. <laughs> Check out YouTube, Silver Jackify. Oh, I, I wrote that pretty badly. Hopefully you can read that. That's Silver Jackify. I got it. Check it out. You'll, you'll, you'll see yourself in the video. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. <laughs> it's Eli. That's scary. Fuck Freddy, he's my bitch. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at that. It's Mo. I don't know if you're honest, it's okay. It's like the GW bit. I need a flower to buy. If a room has chandeliers, you know the cards are good. Oh, here we go. Look at these bows. <laughs> nice. What the hell are these? I don't know. What do we got? Check it out. Derek Jeter Bazooka. Bazooka. From, oh, from 2000. 2000? It's pretty cool. That's cool. Check out the cards that I'm looking at. I got the Mark, the Mark Jackson. I got a Trout for five bucks. Why not? Five bucks. Matt Strom, Strom's Pulls. And uh, I don't know why. I love this. You guys know I love the Sapphire. So I was thinking about getting this one for 10 bucks, I guess. Uh, number, this is a blue one for number to 99. So, so far that's what I got. And then this guy, let's see what he pulled out. Otani. Otani. Bellinger. Look at this. 
This is this might be the steal of the show. If you if you can get it. He hasn't bought it yet. Fifteen bucks. The chrome. The price has gone up since when I pulled it out to now. And then uh, and then the trout red border. Fifteen bucks. It went up. Did he put a new sticker on it while you were looking? Let <laughs> me check back in. <laughs> Sold five cases on release day yesterday of the draft picks. All before cards explode. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, we're the, every single day, like, you don't have to buy into it if you don't want to, but we break every single day on Facebook. Okay. Um, and then also sometimes we go live on Instagram, but usually it's like kids and shit, so it's on Instagram. Where are you guys from? So this place packed up pretty a lot more people than when we first got here. Yes, yes. But we just got two megas. So we're gonna do a little pack war in a little bit. Okay. I uh, went to the bottom of the, the pile so that clearly he, you know, he was trying to put the best on the bottom. Absolutely. And I, and I knew. <laughs> All right. Some guy just rec recognized me over there. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, there you have it, guys. There's some footage uh, from the show. Um, just my thoughts on the show. You know, I got there around 8 a.m. Uh, was nice. Uh, you had to pay a little extra to get in. That was sort of the VIP time uh, before, you know, they opened it up to the public at 9 a.m. Uh, I thought it was worth the extra. I think it was like five bucks uh, to get in a little early um, just to kind of walk around the floor and kind of get a feel for everything. Um as you guys could probably imagine, uh, there was a lot of people that still had price tags from uh, when the market was at its peak uh, back in February and March. Um, and a lot of the, I, I in particularly, uh, I wanted to pick up a vintage card, uh, but I just, a lot of the prices that I saw around vintage just felt a little too high. Uh, so I pretty much passed on everything that I saw. Um, I did almost buy a Shaq rookie and a PSA 10. Um, I think they're going for about, you know, between 400 and 450 now. Um, I, I, uh, I saw that card and it kind of walked away. And then when I came back to that table, uh, that card was gone. So I guess it wasn't meant to be. Um, so, um, and the, the nice thing about the, the Shaq rookie, uh, in a PSA 10 is like, you can, you know, there's so many of them that I should be able to get them, you know, get one in the future. So I wasn't that worried about it. Um, after the show was over, uh, Jay and I went, uh, to a brewery called the seven tribesmen. I think Jay's going to try to put all the video that we did, uh, there together, um, it was kind of a mess. Uh, there wasn't really a good place to do, um, we, what we ended up doing is a, um, a box war. Uh, we both opened a box of 2021 Mega. And uh, the way it works is I opened a box and then he opened a box. And then uh, while you're going through the packs, you stop at your face. You think the card that is the best card in the box. But then once you pick that card, you're not allowed to, to move forward. So um, I picked, uh, I went first, I picked a card and then he went and picked his card. The thing, the difference is uh, you're not allowed to know uh, who got what. Uh, and then we kind of compared and uh, uh, turned. Uh, he went with a Jared Kellenick, uh mega card. And I went with the Spencer Torkelson mega card. And uh, we both agreed that, the well, we looked them up on eBay and the Spencer Torkelson uh, is going for a little bit more uh, than the Kellenick. So I ended up taking home both uh, boxes of 2021 mega, uh, nothing too crazy uh, came out of those boxes, but it was a, a fun break, uh, at the brewery. Um, and so just to real quickly show you guys, um, 
here are the cards uh, from that mega box. Here are some of the highlights. Uh, Yolbert Sanchez first, Austin Martin first, a uh, bunch of mega cards. Um, this is a uh, Bowman first of Jose Salas, uh, Christopher Morrell first, uh, Mania first, uh, Ivan Johnson first, Robert Hassel, uh, Nick Matten, um, uh, Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees. Um, and then these are the cards that, uh, this was the card that Jay picked from his box. And it went up against uh, the Spencer Torkelson. And we decided that the Torque uh, is more valuable than the Kellenic card. Um, like I said, um, Jay will probably try to, you know, put the all the video we did together Um so check out his channel, Parlay J. Hopefully he puts that video up of the brewery break. Um, and then some of the cards that I that I got at the show, um, picked up this Mike Trout. Um, I bundled all of these together. Uh, basically all these uh, uh, came out to about 100, 130 bucks uh, for all of these cards all together. Uh, but here are the price tags on the back. You know, um, $5 for this Mike Trout. Um, you know, all together, you know... Uh, you know, you, what you do is you say, oh, how much for all these cards? And I think if you add the price tags together, it's like 160. Uh, and he gave me the, uh, gave me these cards for 130. So anyway, uh, here's the Mike Trout. Uh, pretty nice. Just the one touch alone was kind of worth it. Um, he had a bunch of these uh, Derek Jeter classic cards. And I picked out what I thought was the best looking one of those. Um, and so I went with this one. Uh, of course, there's the $5 tag on the back. Uh, picked up this card. I thought this was funny. Uh, the Matt Strom auto. Um, you know, Strom's, uh, Matt Strom has a YouTube channel, uh, Strom Stadium Pulse. So I just thought it was cool to get this. Uh, he had this, I think, for like six bucks or something like that. But uh thought this card was really cool, so I picked it up. Um, Trevor Story, um, he just got injured, like literally right after I picked this card up. Um, I went on, on ESPN and uh, apparently now he's injured. Uh, but I know, you know, from my research, uh, this card has a very low pop count in a PSA 10. And um, he, it should be very interesting to see where he goes because um, uh, there's been a lot of talks about Trevor Story, get, Story getting traded. Uh, the Rockies are having a tough year, especially hitting wise. Uh, I thought this card looked really nice. Um, so again, you can see the price tag on there, 10 bucks. Uh, pick this card up. Uh, this is a card that I mentioned um, in a previous video. One of my, one of the uh, greatest error cards of all time. Although, you know, a lot of people pointed out, of course, this is not an error. And I think I actually pointed that out as well as I was doing the video. Uh, but the, having the Menendez brothers on the back, you know, in the picture on the back, I just thought it was kind of a, a one of those strange cards um, that I've always kind of wanted to own. So not bad for 12 bucks. I figured what the heck. It was like sitting on the uh, like on top of a pile of cards. So I was like, what well, you know, let me get it. Uh, picked up an, uh, yet another Bobby Witt. Uh, we should uh, hopefully see him at the end of the year, um, if not in 2022. So uh, Bowman first. Uh, you can see here he had this listed for 12 bucks. Um, you guys know I was big on Corey Seager uh, earlier in the year. He's been injured, unfortunately, but I still uh, like Corey Seager a lot with the Dodgers and uh, thought this card looked like it was in pretty nice condition. So picked up the Corey Seager rookie. Um, picked up this uh, Bo Bichette rookie. Um, I was opening up a rookie explosion box uh, about you know a couple days ago, and I was hoping to hit this card. Um, I have a bunch of the paper versions of this card, but um, did not have a Topps Chrome version. So figured I'd go ahead and pick it up because it was annoying me that I just can't seem to hit this card in a pack. Uh, and then, of course, here is the second year Mike Trout, uh, 2012, I believe, 2012 uh, Mike Trout. And uh, he had a bunch of these, and I picked out what I thought was the nicest one. He had a bunch of opening day ones that I decided to pass on. But I, I just really liked the condition of this card, so I picked it up. And then, honestly, the biggest card that I picked up, uh, and again, part of that bundle, uh, was this Gronkowski card, um, which um, I was a, a big... Uh, I really wanted to get this card, the, the Gronk card, uh, before Tampa Bay won their championship. And then he won uh, the championship... Uh, with the Buccaneers and his cards went crazy. And so I kind of passed on it, but um, I think he had this listed for 40 bucks. Uh, and I thought this card looked like it was really nice condition. So this is probably the biggest card 
that I picked up at the show. So nothing too crazy, um, but was fun uh, going there and hanging out with Jay. And um, there were a couple of uh, people that uh, came over to me and said hello. I guess they you know recognized me from my channel, which was really nice. Um, so that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. I thought it was a, a fun show. It's definitely good to get out of the house <laughs> and just go to a card show and, uh, you know, talk with a bunch of so many different, uh, dealers that I talk with and it was just fun talking baseball cards with them. So, um, hopefully a, um, a preview into, uh, the national coming up in a couple of months. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Peace.